it has been a while since I have shared a what's in my bag video and I have recently been carrying my new Cavu rope sling crossbody and I thought it would be a perfect time to share what I have been carrying in it. Hey you guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of our community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to click that red subscribe button and to become a part of our community and our mission. If you have been part of this community for any length of time, you know that I love bags. Luggage bags, totes, backpacks, crossbodies, you name it, I love a good bag. Now, I did share on Monday my bag collection. So if you've not see, um, seen that video, I will leave that in a card above. I share every single bag that I have minus my planner pouches. So I thought that it would be a great time to give y'all an inside peek at this bag. And I will be honest, I was not a huge fan of the Cavu, I think that's how you pronounce it, rope sling bag. My sister has loved these bags for several years and I was just like, I don't feel like it looks like me. But it looks great on her. Then I was looking for a crossbody or a backpack and I decided to click on this rope sling bag and this print popped up and I immediately was like, I need that. That looks like Erin Condren and it looks like me. So I finally caved and now I own and look, it's, it's opened. Okay, so I caved and now I'm part of the Cavu rope sling bag family. And I will tell you that this bag may look like it's not that big, but this beauty carries a ton. It has so many different compartments and the rope part is very comfortable. You can adjust the strap. So I thought today I would give you an up close look at this bag, kind of give you the ins and outs of how it's designed and share with you what I have been carrying inside in it. So this part of the video, I'm actually going to show just the bag and not my face. So we can get a detailed look at it and I can share every little compartment and what I carry in each one. So here we meet again in my office floor talking about a bag. <laughs> if you watched Monday's video over my entire bag collection, I sat in the floor and went through everything. It's just easier for me to sit on the floor when I'm talking about a bag rather than try to maneuver the tripod on a table and get the entire bag on camera. So this is the bag. I love it. So it's got this little Velcro pocket here. It's got a zipper pocket down here. On the back here, it's got the Cavu and then it has the blue rope. And let me do a close up of the rope so you can see what that looks like. So that is what the rope part looks like. I really like the detailing on the rope there. And it's got the adjustable strap, like I told you. And this is what I like. I like that I can put this crossbody on and then tighten it. So if it becomes loose, I just have to tighten it once it goes on my back. So I talked about these two compartments. This was amazing. I thought this was all one big interior compartment. It is not. This has got two large pockets. So it's got this one on the side here that look, I can stick my hand all the way in the bag. I thought this pocket was a lot smaller than it is, but it is not. It is huge and it goes all the way up. If you can see my fingers moving the bag and to the bottom, this little compartment is huge. So basically I keep things that I don't grab as often over here and usually it's full of snacks. I've eaten them all and I need to get some more. So I've got two in here right now 
The Luna Bars, I love the Luna Bars. If you have been a part of this community for a while, you know these two things are usually basics in any type of purse that I carry. It is the Laura Bar and the Luna Bar, the Luna Protein Bar. So I always carry snacks with me because I have to eat gluten-free. And if I'm out and about and like my kids want to stop at a fast food restaurant or something like that, or if I'm with my mom and she decides to get a cookie, I can't eat a cookie. So I always have these that I can pull out at any moment and snack on. And then sometimes if I go a long periods of time without eating, I do start to feel kind of faint, like really lightheaded. So it's always great to have stuff like that in there. Okay, then I have my well-kept wipes from Erin Condren. I love these. I use these to clean my cell phone, my eyeglasses, and my sunglasses. So I always, when I place a Erin Condren order, I always order another set of these. This is a 15 count, and you can also get it in the colorful packaging as well. And then, last but not least, y'all have seen this many times. This is my Toddy Gear Pocket Toddy, and I need to fold it up. So, you guys, it's called a Pocket Toddy because this is what it looks like folded out. But you can actually fold it into the little pocket on the back. Like so. It kind of folds itself up. And it folds into a little pocket. I have given these as gifts. It's just one of my absolute favorite things. And I don't know if this print's still available. So that is what is in this pocket over here. This large compartment is what I need to call it. Not really a pocket because it's huge. Okay, let's go to this small Vel Velcro pocket here. Okay, not a whole lot fits in here. I've got my Philosophy Raspberry Glazed lip product in here and i don't know why i have this in here because i really don't even wear it um a hair tie and then allergies have been acting up so the rest of this pocket has a bunch of cough drops and i usually have a chapstick in here as well i think it, i have it over here at my um computer desk so that's what i keep up there i've got lip products cough drops and a hair tie i'm surprised i don't have a bobby pin in there as well Okay, down here is basically where I keep all of my pins. So I have my Grove hand sanitizer spray. I probably need to order some more of this. Love this. This is like a standard in my bags. And y'all, this pocket is perfect for pins. And I've got two of the Paper Made Ink Joy gel pins, two highlighters for my checkbook register. One of the black Erin Condren dual tip markers and a Sharpie permanent marker. You guys, these are my favorite pens. The Paper Made Ink Joy, the Erin Condren dual tip markers, and the Sharpie. So that is what is in this bottom pocket. Now we're going to get to basically the bottomless pit is what I'm going to call it. Because I've got so much in here, and I don't even need this in here. This is just an extra notebook. I've got so much in here right now, and I'm going to show you that your planner can actually fit in here as well. So I'm going to pull everything out, then I'm going to put everything back in with my planner. So this is my editorial calendar for 2019. I carry this everywhere with me because I'm always jotting down ideas. This is my checkbook register. I have a video over this. I will put a card above if you've never seen my video over how I manage different ledgers for my checking account. This is for my brand. This is my brand notebook. And I normally have Kate's cheer notebook in here as well. I think I have it on the kitchen table. I think I've been using it. So three notebooks in here. Usually I have four. So if I would pulled the fourth one off the table. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, I went and got that. I had the wrong notebook in here. So this is the one that should have been in here, not that um, cat in the hat one. Okay, next, activated charcoal. I have to be gluten-free, so I always carry a bottle of this in case I get glutened because I will start itching immediately. And I like to take these because it helps absorb the gluten and doesn't make my, it makes it to where my symptoms aren't as bad. So always have that. 
um, ibuprofen. Always have to have this. Sometimes I have scoliosis, so sometimes my back will start hurting from time to time. So always good to have this with me. Then I have a little package of Kleenex in here. And I have, oh, that's my, that's my bill paying slip there. I don't need that. Um, I have my Dooney and Burke um, Disney World Sketch Wristlet. So this is basically my wallet. I've been using it since December. You guys, I don't use a traditional wallet. I just kind of shove everything in here. You can see checkbook. I have my cards in there. I have, there's my chapstick. Chapstick is in here. So this is what I carry. I don't, I don't know. I like to be organized, but I feel like the wallet is just too much for me. I don't like to be that organized when it comes to those things. I just like to grab and go. So love this. And last time I checked, this was not available on Shop Disney. It's one of those in and out type of items. They'll restock and then they immediately sell out. So I just happened upon this last fall. I had my mom get it for me for Christmas. I love it. And then I have my, this is basically my charging pouch. So this is a Bando uh, little pencil case. I got it from Barnes and Noble a few years ago and I use it as my phone charger case it's got my toddy gear power bank in it that i use on the go if i don't have a wall charger i can use this to charge up my phone as long as it is charged up itself so that is what i carry every day in here so i don't carry a ton of stuff and then it's got this little zipper zipper compartment at the back that would be great if you needed to hide some cash or something so that might be a good little thing for vacation when we go. So now I wanna show you how my planner fits in here. So I don't have my planner in here currently, but when I went to my mom's a few weekends ago, I did travel with my planner in my bag because I did not take my laptop bag. Here is my planner. It is at the end of its life. If you can see, the very end of June. So it is thick and it fits in here. So this shows you how big, look, this goes all the way over that back. So it fits in there. Look, there's the planner. It fits in there. Then you can put all of my notebooks. There are four notebooks in here. My charcoal tablets, my ibuprofen, my wristlet, my charging pouch, and my Kleenex. If I can find the zipper. And it fits and it zips. And that's what the side looks like. And the zipper was not strained at all. So you can actually fit your Erin Condren planner inside of this Cavu rope sling crossbody. So that is what I have been carrying in this and what I will be carrying in this bag for the rest of summer, even on vacation. So that is my new Cavu Rope Sling bag. And y'all, I think this is called the Chroma Stripe. I think that's the name of it. I hope you've enjoyed seeing the, this bag, the details of this bag, and what I have been carrying inside of it. I plan on carrying this bag all during summer, and I think it's going to be extremely beneficial. So in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. Your thoughts on the Cavu Rope Sling bag. Is it something that you have? Is it something that doesn't look like it would fit you? I would love to hear all about it in the comments below. Also, I hope you give this video a big thumbs up by giving my videos a thumbs up. It shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, which means they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people, which means our community will grow and will continue to spread positivity. Also, I hope you hit that red subscribe button to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. I hope you guys have a fantastic week and until next time, bye you guys.